Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to the second episode of the Feud.js tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll be going over handling user input with uh, Vue. So Vue has a really nice way of handling user input and doing things between different elements. So when somebody clicks a button, a uh, method gets fired and that can do some things by changing the contents. And this is actually really clean and it won't take a lot of code and a lot of junk. So it's a great way of handling user input. So for the first example, I'm just going to use the example that I give on the um, view homepage. And that is to reverse a message that's on the website. So I'm going to put, um, uh, hello world onto the web page in a h1 tag and when we go to the browser it will say hello world now I want a button on this that if we click it it will reverse this message so what I can do is I can add a button and then put reverse inside of it and that will add a button reverse. Now this button won't do anything yet because it doesn't know what to do. So what we can do is we can use uh, view uh, event handlers. And we do that by typing v.on and then a semicolon. And then we can type, for instance, in the case of click, we can type click and then equals and then we can fire the reverse message function. So whenever we click on this button, it will fire the reverse message function and we can do some stuff inside of that. So what I want to do first is I want to replace this uh, H1 with a message. So we can go back to that then inside of a data we are going to put hello world as a message that will function the same it will just replace it dynamically dynamically so under the data object we can put a new thing which is a methods object and methods will hold several functions that we can declare that can be called for instance on the click event on this button in this case so what we can do, we declare methods as an object and then I can put reverse message inside of it and I'm going to make it a function. And we can't use uh, ES6 arrow function because that doesn't allow us to use this, which is important in this case. So what we can do is we can say this.message, which will uh, take the message from the data object which is equal to what we have inside of here. And we can change that to the message, split, then reverse, and then join, which is a way of reversing a string in JavaScript by splitting it, splitting it up by space, which is going to give you a, um, an array, and then you reverse it, and then you join it back. So if we go back to the browser and we can click reverse, we'll see that it will flip the two words, words. And that is because I have a space inside of here. If we don't have spaces, we can reverse it entirely. So when we click on the button, it will fire this event and it will see, hey, I got to fire this reverse message method. Inside of our methods, we have declared reverse message as a function that does this, which is set uh, the message to the reverse of itself. And this works really nicely because uh, if you listens to a change on this uh, property, which will automatically update our HTML. So that's really cool on how you can really fast create uh, reversing messages and that kind of stuff. And then for the second thing we can do using user input is we can bind to 
uh, things together. So for instance, we have a header with message and we can create an input with a V model of message and we can remove methods. And what this does is when we go to the browser, we can see that whenever we change anything inside this input, it will automatically change inside of the header. And this is a, uh, a binding between two elements, which is a really cool thing that Vue does. So we have an input with V model and then the name of a uh, variable that we have. So for instance, in this case, message. And whenever we change something, it will automatically update message for us. And then it will, uh, the H1 will detect that that has changed and we will update its contents. So we can quickly uh, create linking and it's really useful in some cases. So that is going to be it for the second tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode.